Hey guys, what's up? Thank you guys for joining us. We're in the studio here at Titan Medical Center and we're with Titan Athlete and Titan's own, the real Lois Lane, aka Rachel Daniels. Hey guys, what's going on? Really excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> so Rachel is getting ready for her competition this weekend. Well, she's already ready, but we had her come in. We wanted her to kind of talk about kind of what her experience is, what she's went through, where she's at. And how much she's going to dominate this weekend because we know she's going to dominate. She's, she's just she's ready all the way around. Physically, mentally, the girl's prepared. So we're excited to see it. So how have things been through this prep with you, Rachel? Man, um, I've done a, a good amount of preps at this point. But this every prep is different. Um, but this one was super unique. Uh, total change, total new package I'm bringing. Um, I changed coaches six weeks out, so that was a huge, oh, wow. huge uh, leap of faith for me. But I always go with my gut feeling, and it totally worked out. So I'm coming on stage about um, 25 to 30 pounds heavier than my last show. Wow. So put on a lot of muscle in my off season, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, I used to come in a little too lean, um, and I'm, I'm a little flat for women's physique. So really have been applying the judges feedback mm -hmm. on that and um tried carb cycling this prep which worked phenomenally with my with my physique awesome um just really closely with my coach so yeah everything's been you know really successful i had to bust ass to catch back up to get on the right timeline because mm -hmm. i was a little bit behind i was looking about 12 weeks out at about six weeks out so oh, i had wow. to, a couple weeks I had to bust my ass but um Towards the end, I uh, got my cardio cut and my carbs are high and I'm coming in full, lean, and like you said, ready to dominate. So ready I'm very dominate. excited. You know, and I, and listen, I've seen Rachel over the last couple of years. So listen, she always brings an amazing package to the stage. I've seen her on some of these different shows and she was like, I remember the first time I seen Rachel on, on stage, uh, it was a, a different show in, here in Florida. And at that point she was just diced. I mean, the girl was ready to go like at that point. So bringing on this 25 to 30 pounds of lean mass, of lean muscle mass, this isn't fat that she's putting on, it's lean mass. So at that point it's gonna look even more incredible on you. So Thanks. I'm really excited to see this, it's gonna be awesome. So for people that don't know about you know bodybuilder competition, what is the class are you gonna, what are you what are you competing in this the weekend right so i'm competing in women's physique division um it's one step below women's bodybuilding and one step above figure mm -hmm. so it's a lot of muscle still um but the big difference between women's physique and women's bodybuilding is i'd say the posing obviously and then the factor of leanness they don't want um total just ribboning of all of the muscles yes. and you know maybe a little bit feathering of the glutes but not like hard not all mm -hmm. that hard grainy mm -hmm. kind of stuff you see on the the bodybuilder conditioning so it's a fuller look it's a more feminine look um it's still a newer division it only came out less than 10 years ago so uh it's my favorite division obviously yeah um but that's that's where i'm at and that's probably where i'll stay awesome awesome diet wise so you know, I think people have questions, you know, how's the diet been, like, through this whole thing for you? Has it been pretty easy? Is it hard? I, you know, because, you know, obviously you're going to deplete down. You know, right. Food's coming down. But you said you've been carb cycling, so carbs been up, been down. Right. You know, at this point, where are your carbs at? Are they real, real high? Or are they real, real low? Oh, they're pretty high now. So well, I started with my new coach about six weeks ago, and he started me initially on – I was doing like maybe two d days of just proteins and fats mm -hmm. and then um, a carb day. Some days I would go four days with just proteins and fats and zero carbs mm -hmm. and then a carb day. Um, and then I was doing like crazy hit cardio on top of that. And we did that for like maybe like a two week period and gradually as the cardio and everything and my body started taking shape, um, snapping, snapped into shape really quick and uh, he was able to start doubling my carb days. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I would have double the carbs on that day and then I'm, and then it changed to carbs and a refeed at night. And then, um, so I started getting a break towards the end, but for a while, like I've never had no carbs. I've had minimal carbs, but yeah. they've always been in there. So that was like, whoa, for me, I was like, <laughs> whoa new game but um but then it got um it got a lot better towards the end uh about a week and a half out i've been starting to get loaded every night mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. carbs and he totally cut my cardio so that was like so like honestly diet wise this has probably been 
one of the easier preps for me. I'm used to like just being near the point of death right. at this point. Um, down. But I'm feeling good and I'm feeling full and healthy and that's great because it gives me a lot of extra time to practice um, things for my aesthetics like my posing and right. stuff which is super important right. on stage. Yeah, because I mean it's not just getting up there and looking phenomenal. The right. posing is going to be along with it as well. Right. And that's got a whole different aspect. So at that point, you've got to bring two different things to the table right there. Yeah. So that, sure. that's huge. That's definitely huge. Um, so this weekend is when the show is going on. Yes. Right? So it's here in Florida, in Tampa, Florida. So we're going to be local here. Really excited. National qualifier for her. That means hopefully she's going to kick butt, win this thing. And then we're going to go on and get the pro card for her. So that, that's that's the plan, and I'm really excited because, you know, she follows a plan to a T, yeah. which is real nice. Now, one other question for you. So how have the therapies from Titan Medical Center, obviously, you know, you're a Titan athlete, you've used the Titan Medical Therapies. You know, what, what do you think has been your favorite? What's been the one that's helped you the most, do you think, through this prep or in general? Um, I used BPC for a while because I was having, I had some injuries, and that helped me so much. And with just my injuries healing um and as my training kind of i took a step back from my training a little a little less intense and i had more time to heal so that helped me so mm -hmm. i've stopped that but that was like a go-to for me for a while and you know that yeah absolutely. and um glutathione love um i use that every morning yep. i use my titan complete every morning those are probably my two favorites i don't gotcha. think i'll ever like take those out just gives me everything i need all in one and it's so much more convenient than buying like 50 bottles of different things <laughs> yeah. and just putting all these orals in your body like yeah. all the time boom right there and then finally the game changer i believe is going to be the hercules potion <laughs> especially like you know back in the pump up room, Absolutely. 20 minutes before we get on stage you know one in each delt and just come on boom <laughs> just blow them away i'm so i'm really like i've used the hercules during my workouts and it's looked insane i used it the other day on my like my last shoulder workout and i was like popping everywhere so i was like oh it's gonna be ridiculous yeah, on stage so yeah. that's gonna i'm really excited to try that one i'm, I'm really really excited for it. i mean obviously i'm glad these therapies have helped and they're gonna help you with competitions or everyday life quality life whatever it is you know one thing i didn't know um before i think this last week was i never knew what trials and tribulations you went through with your back yeah so do you want to tell them kind of what happened sure. with the back thing? So yeah, I, I literally, I, I seen the pictures posted uh, on Facebook. And I, I just couldn't believe it. And when you see her form now to when what she's had to go through and to even get like this, it's a hell of a story. Yeah. It's really, so I'm really proud Thanks. of you for, for even seeing that. Like, Thanks. you know, you find these little snippets <laughs> and I like, even knew about, you know, at least I think I know like most of it and <laughs> pow, right out of that field. So, so what exactly happened with the back or what did you have to go through to really get to where you are now? Because I mean, somebody that looks at you right now, like, you haven't had any problems. You're in perfect shape. You're just a hell of an athlete. Like what's going on? Yeah. So, and that's one of the reasons. So that I even made that post was, um, so I kind of, well, first let me just, I'll, set the backstory with what happened to my back so um i was adopted when i was younger so i my adopted family didn't have any medical history of me we didn't really know what to expect uh, expect and when i was like around 11 or 12 i went to the doctor and i got an x-ray and they were like you have some scoliosis um which if you don't know is curvature of the curvature back of the of spine, the spine. Yep. kyphosis is this way you know scoliosis is this way so it was mild at the time and i was a gymnast and i was like that was my life so i was they were like you probably need to wear a back brace and i was like i'm not doing that and I'm like <laughs> i'm training all the time so by the time i was 14 i went back to a spine surgeon because at that point my back was like actually like changing and i was mm -hmm. having trouble like breathing because mm -hmm. my spine was starting to push on my my major organs like my lungs and stuff and the doctor straight up told me he was like look y you need back surgery immediately you're going through puberty your spine's growing the most right now right um, and if you don't get it, like, you're not going to make it to your 20th birthday. It's just not going to happen. And mm -hmm. I was like, well, I guess, I guess that's my decision. Like, I have to do it now. <laughs> so so I ended up undergoing, um, I donated a lot of blood for myself because I was going to need a transfusion. Yeah. All Children Hospital, I um, underwent a in, almost entire spinal fusion. So it's kind of like a a bowling i explain it like a bowling alley so like if my spine is where you throw the bowling ball the bumpers would be where i have two titanium rods they're 12 inches each and then i have um 24 screws 12 on each side and six hooks hooking the screws three on each side wow um yeah so and then i mean 
I was in ICU for a while. I got released from the hospital. I had to learn how to walk again. My mom used to help me uh, every day walk around our pool three times. And, you know, sometimes it, like, it took us an hour just yeah. to do that. Um, but she stuck with me, and I had a great support system, and I was, like, totally blessed by God that I was adopted into a family who could, yeah. like, even have medical insurance right. and any of that. So, but, I mean, I my doctor did tell me, he was like, you know, you're going to, your gymnastics career is over you're not going to be you can't bend i can't my spine's fused to my to these this titanium right. so um virtually i can only bend like that my sacral part of my spine like my tailbone uh -huh. area um so he was like yeah you're gonna have to make some life changes you're just not gonna be like who you used to be and that always kind of stuck with me and i was like i just never saw myself like that i never saw myself as you know disabled or like a victim or like oh I'm, i can't do this and my parents never raised me like that either <clears throat> they were like get back out there <clears throat> do whatever you feel like you can do so i uh i did um i started weightlifting and my my spine is completely healed healed and fused I've, I, I haven't had any issues um the only thing i don't really do is conventional deadlift just because it puts a lot of pressure on my my the part that's not fused but you know i've I lift more than people with perfect spines. So, yeah. um, but I did post that not not to just like be like, look at me, look what I can do with what I've what I've been through. Because there's, I don't like, I don't think that's a very big deal compared to like what some people have really been through. Um, but I did post that just to show and like let people know because I know there's a lot of people out there with, you know, you deal with a lot of people with tight who has health and health issues and people feel limited and it's right. easy to feel like when you see all these amazing bodybuilders you're like wow they're so lucky they were born with these perfect bodies and these perfect genetics to where they can just go into this sport and look amazing and they they're just so blessed like and i never had that and i and i want to tell those people like a lot of us aren't perfect and right. you know i have to pose different i have to pose what feels like crooked to me but it looks really aesthetically pleasing and Net, net symmetrical to the yeah. audience so um you know there's i have strength and differences i there's a lot of different things um so i just want to like give people that message you know nobody's nobody's perfect and um you don't have to have great genetics to be a bodybuilder you if you have okay genetics and you're the hardest worker in the room you're going to beat somebody with great genetics every time absolutely absolutely and i honestly i, I think it's it's really motivating for people out there i think it's helping people to even put that message out there you know because it's it's awesome i mean people can definitely like you said they might be having went through something like you're you went through and at that point it gives them motivation it shows them it can be done yeah so that's that's the real big lesson with this it's it's awesome and she's basically like an x-men man she's like she's like wolverine <laughs> she's got titanium in her. Like she's it. indestructible so yeah this like is x-23 that. over here i like that uh but no it's it's really really cool so i I, I find it motivating i i thought it you know i thought it was like you know it's it's, it's instrumental for Thanks. some people so yeah like, you don't know who it's gonna affect out there yeah you and know? i got a ton of great feedback i got like i just got flooded with like all these people's stories about like you know people were in iraq and got had yeah. these back injuries people you know who just had tons of injuries and they were like you got you now you give me faith to go back in the gym because like you know if you're doing that like i have no excuse not to absolutely and that's what i wanted that's what i wanted you know very very cool we're all the same absolutely great message and, and all overall great so that was awesome all right so before you leave here, before we get off this camera, we did get some fan mail for Rachel. Oh, my God. So <laughs> it came to Tight Medical Center, which is really cool. I mean, listen, I've got a lot of athletes, right? And I've had people write me and stuff like that on social media about my athletes. But I've never got a letter like this for an athlete. <laughs> and I thought maybe I would at this point. And when I came in, I was just like, this is really cool. And we have to do this on camera. Okay? I'm nervous. And, this. <laughs> and she's like, oh, my God, what is it, right? So I'm like, all right, I'll just read it to you. She has not read it. She has no idea what this says. <laughs> So let's just read out there. And this was from um, Dario Fluvivo. Fluviva. Fluviva. And he's from Queen Village, New York. Oh, okay. Uh, he also sent a letter with an already stamped envelope. Oh, my God. Okay. So what's he going to ask for? Let's see. So this is what it says. It says, Dear Mrs. Daniels, I hope this letter finds you well. My name is Dario, and I want to say that you are a great bodybuilder. 
I'm not someone who has much to say. So I sent you this letter to show my appreciation and to request your autograph with a self-addressed, self-stamped envelope for your convenience. Thank you in advance for taking the time to read my letter and to send me the autograph. Sincerely, Dario. Aw, that's cute. Really cool, you know? I don't know how many people have called me Miss Daniels. That's my mom. See, I mean, listen, you know, she gets much respect out here, you know, and this is just one. And who knows who this person is? Big shout out to Dario, and I'll have her sign the autograph card. He sent, like, a little, like, uh... Like a little card like this, like an index Aww. card, just to sign. We'll send it back to him. I think it was really cool. That's Maybe get a shirt, sweet. sign a shirt yeah. for him and stuff like that. So listen, if you guys think this was motivational or you guys like Rachel or any of the other athletes, as long as you're respectful and send something like this in, I'm sure we'd send you something back. Okay? So I appreciate it, Rachel. I, I can't wait to see you dominate this weekend. I've been Thank really, you. really proud to have you a part of the team and a part of this whole journey, and I can't wait for the future. Thanks. I'm so excited, and I totally want to thank my Titan Medical family uh, helping me out with my shows and my 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 awesome Titan oh, outfit. Yeah. Um, got to make sure just, she's looking good all the time, Just taking right? care of me on the inside and the outside and just being super amazing. Like, I, you know, people think that, bodybuilding is a they say it's a, a single man sport and, and, and it's really not there's a lot of people behind the scenes that uh make the athlete and the athlete gets a lot of praise on stage but i couldn't have done it without you guys and you guys are my family so Absolutely. thank you so much i love you love you she told you. i can't wait <laughs> so, so guys come out and check out rachel make sure you support her okay so if you're in tampa there'll be the show tampa pro you guys can check it out online or go into the show and maybe get to see her on stage kick butt and straight dominate okay if not listen stay tuned we're gonna have more of rachel and a lot of the different athletes out there share some of the content show what they're doing and where they're at in life or in their competition so i appreciate you coming in rachel and being on here always all right so we will see you guys soon thank you guys for tuning in thanks